guys, it's Kaylin here. Um, back by demand, I have another standing Pilates workout for you. So this one's gonna be a little bit shorter, so nice and easy to add into your day to add a little extra um, stability and standing work. All right, before we get going, I just want to let you know that there's going to be some balance work here. So if you want to uh, hold on to a countertop or a wall or a table, I have my little foam roller here handy if I need it. So it doesn't add a, um, as much stability as something nice and solid, but it will give you a little extra um, if you need that help with that balance work. So with that, let's, let's kick it off here. So let's go ahead and come into a nice standing position with our legs in parallel. Let's take three deep inhales and exhales to get settled here. So inhale, bend the knees a little bit, open the arms, lift up. And then exhale, arms will lower back down. And again, deep breath in. Good thing of taking up as much space here in your body as you can with those inhales. Last one, deep breath in. And then the arms come down by your sides. All right, so. Belly is pulling in here. This is gonna be how you stabilize, right? We're lifting up nice and tall through the crown of our head. Shoulders are down. We're gonna start with a little opposite arm leg lift. So we're gonna stay with our right foot on, I'm sorry, left foot on the mat. Right leg is gonna bend just a little bit and we're gonna reach that left arm up towards the ceiling, okay? So I want you to Go ahead and switch the arms as you lift that right leg up and then we tap down. So it's a lift and tap, right? So stabilizing here. So obviously if you need that wall or counter for support, you would bring your uh, left hand to the wall or counter and just move that right arm along with that leg. Okay, let's do four, three, two and last one good let's go ahead and switch sides so right foot stays on the floor left leg bends toes on the mat reach that uh that right arm up towards the ceiling and then we switch so lots of stability happening in that standing leg really try to ground and root down through all four corners of the feet Let's do four, three, woo, I'm losing it, two, and one. Good, bring both feet back down. Right leg's gonna stay back down here onto the floor. All right, we're gonna reach that other leg out, and then your left hand's gonna come here behind your head. So we're gonna do a opposite knee to elbow touch, with a, so we're gonna do a little rotation. So we're gonna twist knee to elbow, open it back up. Good, twist and open, twist, open, good. good. Twist, let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Good, tap it open, let's switch sides. Good, so right hand behind the head, left leg out to the side, we tap it and then we twist. Good, twist, tap. That's it. Again, hold on to something if you need to. Let's do four and three. That's it, last two and one. All right, both feet onto the floor. All right, so hands onto the hips. We're gonna do a little curtsy squat here. So we're gonna stay on one side. So let's go ahead and stay on that left foot. Bring that right leg back behind you. Hips stay facing forward. And we're gonna bend the knees and then lift up. So we bend and lift. Yeah, so we're not gonna take the foot off the floor just yet, although we will do that in just a little bit. And bend and lift. Good, let's do four. Three, two, and one. All right, bring that right leg back out to the side. Right hand is gonna come behind the head, all right? So now we're gonna do a curtsy squat, bringing that leg back. We squat down, we lift, bring knee to elbow. All right, so squat 
and lift. Again, holding onto something here would be a really nice way to find some stability. I'm actually gonna do that here as well. Lift, good, squat, and lift, so a little oblique crunch. Good, let's do two more, two. Last one. Good, bring that foot down. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So right foot on the mat, hands on the hips, left foot behind, and we keep the feet there as we tap and lift. I say tap, right? Because if you can, that back knee will tap down towards the floor. But if you can't get there, that is perfectly okay. And lift, tap, lift, four more, four, three, two, and one. Good, coming all the way up. All right, this would be a good spot for your wall or whatever you need. Now go ahead and bring that left hand behind the head. Left leg comes here, and then we bend the knees, curtsy lunge, lift into that oblique crunch. Good, lift, good, tap, and lift. That's it. And lift, good, let's do three more, three. Last two, last one, and lift. Good, bring both feet down. All right, won't need that for now. We're gonna come into a squat, but we're gonna hold the squat so we can do some upper body work, okay? So this is gonna be a, not quite a big squat, more of a, a more shallow knee bend. So legs are in parallel. Start to sink the hips back here, right? So we're gonna hold this position. Spine's long, belly's pulling in. Let's find arms here, right? 90 degrees at shoulder height. So we're gonna bring the arms together. We open and then we shoot them up towards the ceiling. Draw down, draw together, open and lift, lower together, open, lift, together, open, lift. So you can feel your legs here, right? You feel your quads, feel those shoulders. Good, together, open, lift. Let's do three more sets, three, two, last one, good. And then stand all the way back up. Stay where you are, we're gonna do one more of those squats with the arm exercise. So, go ahead, sink back. This time, bring straight arms back behind you, right? So we're gonna do some arm pulses, lifting. Feeling triceps, back of the arm, that upper back area. That's it. Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then stand it all the way up. All right, we're gonna find some long arm circles. So we're gonna try to do this balancing on a single leg. So we're gonna start with our right foot on the mat. Go ahead and bring that left leg up here and we're just gonna hold this, bring the arms up to the sides. And we're gonna do small circles here. So not only are we continuing the work in the upper body and the shoulders, we've got that stability work in that standing leg and that glute, right? Core work, keeping us steady. Reverse your circles. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the arms down. Let's go ahead and switch to the other leg. So same thing, same types of circles, just switching to our other leg. Good, bring that leg out. This is my less, um, less good balancing side. So we'll see how this goes. This takes a lot more work here. So important to do those, um, that single leg, single arm, single sided work so that you can strengthen that weaker side. Okay, let's reverse it. That's it. First six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and then lower that all the way down. All right, so back onto that right leg. All right, this would be a good spot again for that, um, for that roller or your countertop. We're just gonna do that side leg lift. So keeping hips and shoulders forward. Good, lift and lift, that's it. If you wanna add a little oblique crunch, you can lift and crunch towards that leg. Lift, good, and lift. For that hand behind the head, I'll probably need more of that um, standing or that solid piece, right? Your countertop or your wall to stay stable. Good, let's do three and two. Last one. Good, let's go ahead and switch sides. So on your right leg now, left leg comes out to the side. Find that core pulling in first, then we lift and lower, tapping that leg. Tap, that's it. These standing exercises are so much harder <laughs> than they look, especially when there's so much balance and single-sided work involved. Okay, let's do that crunch here. Okay, crunch, lift. And lift, let's do five more. Five, four, last three, you got it. Two and one, awesome. Go ahead and bring that foot down. All right, we've got one more single-sided exercise here. So back on that right foot, foot. Go ahead and bring, whoa, go ahead and bring that left leg. I'm gonna use this for this one again, all right. That leg here. Now your elbow is going to come forward as well of that right leg. And then you're just going to open as you open the knee and elbow to the side and then bring it back together. Open and together. Hopefully you're not like my husband who is just trying this behind the camera and almost fell over. <laughs> Good. Open and together. Let's do four. This is almost like a clamming exercise with the leg, getting that outer hip and glute here. Last two, last one. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. We are almost done. Right foot on the mat, left leg lifts, left hand up, elbow forward, and then we open and close. Good, open together. That's it. It's trying to keep the pelvis forward so that you're really using that glute to do that opening work, not twisting the spine or the pelvis to do that. Let's do four, three, last two, and one, good. All right, both feet on the mat. I'm gonna finish up with just a couple little mobility stretches here. Let's go ahead and bring your hands on your knees bending forward just a little bit. Now I want you to inhale as you slide the heart and the chest up to the ceiling. Good, draw your shoulders down. Exhale as you scoop the belly, drop the head round your back. And then again, inhale as you come forward. Good, exhale to round. Good, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Good, go ahead and stack your spine all the way up to standing. Take a deep breath in, bring those arms up to the ceiling. Grab onto your left wrist with your right hand and reach over to the right. Good. Open up that whole left side of your body. And now come up through center, switch hands, reach over to the other side. Awesome. And then go ahead and come all the way back up and then drop those arms down by your sides. You guys are done with that standing workout nice and quick for you, but I'm already, I got my heart rate up, I'm sweating. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I have another standing workout here if you'd like to check that out. And if you like something that's a little bit different, not on the mat, just like our down on the mat, like standing, try out this chair workout here. Um, that one is a lot of fun as well. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you soon.